Hello dear friends. Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an interracial couples tag for you. Uh -huh. Nine questions that we're going to go through. Honey? We give a shout out to one of our subscribers. Mm -hmm. That is just so awesome. Do you want to do that? Yes. So Ernie Hatmaker. Yes. Who watches our videos and comments regularly. On all the videos. Yes. Thank you so much for your support. Yes. We really appreciate it. Yes. And you stand out as a person who likes our channel. Yeah. So shout out to you girl. If you also want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, hit a notification bell, and press done or leave a comment so we know you want a shout out. So show me the video. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Number one, what is your race or ethnicity? Okay. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. I am black. Really? You couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black, but and no, but but and, and. <laughs> <laughs> I am from Africa, uh, specifically Congo, Zaire or Congo Kinshasa. Yes. And I think that's all there is. It's just black in Congo. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> and I'm white. Uh huh. I have a um, background in Norway, Germany, and Britain mm -hmm. that I know of. Mm -hmm. So my dad's side of the family, the Amundsen's, mm -hmm. Norwegian. Mm -hmm. um, and then also uh, my grandpa married a lake from the Lake District of uh, Britain. Mm -hmm. And then on my mom's side, it's all German. Plets. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Yes. Question number two. Okay, was this your first time dating outside of your race? Yes. <laughs> However, <laughs> it was the first time we dated. Period. period. So we married our first person we ever dated. First love. Yeah. Okay, question yeah. number three. Number three, what has been the most challenging thing about dating interracially? Honey? Good question, but it's also a very hard question hmm. um, because it's like, what arena do I choose? You know what I mean? Right. Like, what? I don't know. It's like I guess it's like dating someone else. It's hard. Yeah, <laughs> there's gonna be things you have to work through. You yeah. just have more things to work through. Yeah, I think maybe the um, communication aspect of things. That's not just an interracial thing, though. That's just a right. cultural thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think socially mm. was the biggest thing for me where it's like um, hanging out with my family it's like uh, you, you plan something for 6 p.m. everyone's there at 6 p.m. and it's very structured it's very like boring <laughs> With that at times it can be boring. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Um, but it is what it is. And then yeah. with your family, mm -hmm. you plan something for six, um, people might be there by eight. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's, there's not like a certain, it's more event oriented rather uh -huh. than time oriented. So yeah. it's all about being together. Um, when you get there isn't as important. The fact that you're all together, enjoying time, having food, all those things seem more important. So I think socially is where I notice the biggest difference. Mm. Because African and Congolese culture is vastly different from American culture. I think it's just a black people thing. <laughs> okay. We are on black people time. <laughs> in, in fairness, the black lineage goes back to Africa. That's right. So. <laughs> they get it from so their ancestors. That, yes. and, that neither one is wrong no. or right. Nope. Just different. different. So yep. yeah. Each culture has its own nuances, and I've really enjoyed becoming part of Benjamin's family. I think that was enjoying that yeah, culture. Yeah, now that you bring that up, that was That's probably the difficult. Biggest. I'm like, what's the big deal? I'm gonna be there. Calm down. Yeah. And, and then waiting for her hair appointments. The other one. <laughs> <laughs> Lost need, my mind. We need to I do a story time about mind. that stuff. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that sometime. Those hair appointments, my God. Okay. Okay, do you get dirty looks or stares in public? Um, I I told you about when we went to get Jaden's haircut. Uh -huh. There was that lady um, that would just that like funny. was looking at me like up and down. Oh, black lady. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like usually, if I get stares, it's usually from the black my black female friends. 
like mean to my black sisters. Yeah. Um, when we were in the south, we would have gotten some stares from white folks living in woods. <laughs> yeah, that one was crazy. Yeah, but like that was just one time. I usually get stares from the black sisters. <laughs> okay. Do you plan to get married or have children? Yes, yes and, and yes. yes. <laughs> Past tense. We are married and we have three children. We're going on 12 yes. years. De that was children. definitely part of the plan even when we were dating. That's right. That we would get married and have children. Yeah. Yeah, we were very intentional about our dating. Okay. Um, if so, how do you think they will be perceived? Black. <clears throat> yes. In America, that I'm just being in, honest. In a white I'm community, our mixed race kids will be looked at black. as black. Yeah. In a black community, who knows? Black. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. I feel that. like black people are. I'm not saying all white people are accepting, not maybe. accepting, but I feel like the black community is extremely accepting. Do you think that's of, because of the rejection that's been experienced in the black community? I think so. so yes, to, but I think they're also like a laid back type of people. That's true. Like that's true. I, that's true. I notice how uptight I am when yeah. I'm around a black crowd. Yeah. I'm like, man, like, I wish I was more cool yo, chill. and relaxed. <laughs> chill out, man. Just chill out. <laughs> I, I'm just uptight. It's who I am. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, and maybe I tend to get uptight when I'm around, you know, the white folks my, because my it's people. like, I don't know. If I feel like I have to be uptight, to but like, yeah, but um, like you'll you'll crack a joke or be relaxed, and I'll just be like. <laughs> Stoically <laughs> staring at you. But you know, this generation that's growing up on Instagram and YouTube, yeah. I've seen much a more culture. Huge change. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, there there yeah. are some great things about social media where it allows mm -hmm. more of a socialization. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the right word. More of a just a broadening a yeah, of, of your mindset and, and your yep. experience with yep. other cultures. Yeah, that's been a good thing. Yeah. So, yeah, that's black people. Our people are extremely like laid back and just like I feel like more accepting than I think the right the white. Yeah. We have some really great white folks in our lives too. Oh, they're, absolutely. They're tremendously That's, accepting. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying. Don't get me wrong. I'm not not, saying, not overall. Yeah. yeah, but I'm. I feel like You've when I that. hear stories like interracial couple stories, they're usually like, "Oh, my black parents had." was okay with me. Yeah, yeah. And so is the white counterpart. It's like, well, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. there was this one time. I, right I have here. noticed, like, even in, there was a couple we watched some, and he's, what, Indian? And she's African? Oh, Zimbabwe. And Zimbabwe. what is he? Oh, is he, he is Indian. Yeah. yeah, and his parents did not accept the African gal. Yeah, they rejected yeah, him. totally. Yeah, so it completely. Like, it does seem like a lot of times it's the black folks that get the brunt in those relationships. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Which but but the mom in that relationship finally came around, so yeah. that was good. Yeah. Okay, number seven. Is it different dating outside of your race as opposed to dating within? Is it different? Uh, How would I know? No. I, yeah, <laughs> I, that is a question we can't I've really been, I've give your answer to else. because we never dated Thank anybody God. else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you interact with other interracial couples? Yes, on my social media. Okay, yeah. In it's, person, it's not as... Well, oh yeah, 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 that's true. Mm -hmm. He's African. She's from here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, w I would like to broaden our social circle of interracial couples. It's yeah. nice that it's online, but I'd like to like meet a few meet in, a, person, in person too. In person, and actually, yeah. yeah so, so if you know anybody in the Indianapolis area, let us know. Yeah. But um, yeah, on my social media, a lot of the people I follow maybe right. ninety eight percent is all interracial. Yeah, because we feel like we can really relate. I can relate to yeah. somebody that's you know dealing in an with interracial yeah, relationship and, and someone who just doesn't get it, who thinks interracial <laughs> couple is all butterfly in love and like there's nothing wrong that they or go impossible. through. Or and like, think it's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Number nine. What made you fall in love with this person? Good. I don't think it was a moment or a snapshot in time. Mm -hmm. I think it was a series of things happening. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I and love is so different than infatuation. Mm -hmm. So fall in love. I mean, we're still falling in love, mm -hmm. but I think initially, early on, the more I spoke with you, the more I realized you you were the kind of person I wanted to be around and with the rest of my life, mm -hmm. and that you had the same goals. We had the same religious beliefs, mm -hmm. 
That um, we, yeah, and family, we, we had the same feelings and thoughts about family. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the more I talked to you, the more I was like, wow, this is the kind of person I want to be with. Mm -hmm. So it was, um, it was just realizing over time and communicating that that's what it was. Is that why you wanted to marry me? <laughs> yes. I just always have to bring that up. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew pretty early on. Yeah. Um, so, so what made you fall in love with this guy? What made me fall in love with Jory was um, his heart. The way he like just gave to people. It didn't matter if he knew you or he didn't know you. <laughs> Jory just gave. And, and it wasn't just something, you know, some people like to brag on themselves, but he wasn't bragging on himself. These are things that people have known him would tell me, just like, oh yeah, I remember when he did this, 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 and that. He's such a good person. I was just like, whoa, who am I dealing with here? It's like, it, literally everywhere we went, it was like, there was a backstory about joy, about giving something away <laughs> or doing something. So, um, and I feel like that's part of how, because I'm a believer, I'm going to take it there, so let's go to church, okay? <laughs> um, I feel like that's how God intended for a man to be towards his wife or future wife is to be a giver because mm -hmm. Christ died for his bride. Mm -hmm. um, he gave. The ultimate gift, yeah. Yeah, he mm -hmm. gave. So I feel like... He, he, I kind of saw that in him where it was like he's willing to give up or give anything for me and that was a shock to me like oh this guy he's the one <laughs> he sharpened me to be a better person um, I think we've done that for each other yeah shoring up our weaknesses yeah no, you can do better than that. No, don't be mad at your dad. Go talk to your dad. Like, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, yes, all of those things and more made me fall in love with Jory. Aww. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. Thank you for watching our couples tag, interracial couples tag. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and share the video. And we'll see you soon. Yes, so, as yes. always, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.